Hello everyone, this is Senator Ted Cruz from Texas, and I'm the 2016 presidential candidate for the United States presidency. Welcome! We are playing a game today called Democracy 3, uh, where we can play as the uh, good old U.S. of A, alright? The United States of America, a federal republic consisting of 50 states. The USA is the third largest country by land area and population, and also the world's most Baptist and Protestant nation, of course, of course. And we have the best gun control, the best rights. The Second Amendment holds us true to those American values we are entitled, alright? So we're going to play as the United States of America and shape it the way that my presidency in the White House will, alright? Oh, filthy liberals. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, let's uh, play the Republican parties against these... God damn, Democrats. Alright. Four years and two terms, just as my normal normal day-to-day -day operation would be in the office of presidency. Innate socialism, innate liberalism. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. Let's turn that down a bit. Let's turn that down. We don't want socialism. We don't want liberalism. Alright. Let's get started here. <clears throat> Gerrymandering constituencies, inventing the internet. Al Gore did that. We all know. We all know. But he was a, a filthy liberal. I mean, I I was sincerely happy George W. Bush was in office in September 11th, 2001. Because if Al Gore was in office, we would have been all dead by now. Here we go. Congratulations on your election victory. Why, why thank you, America. Thank you. Welcome to your new job as president of these United States of America. Thank you. The lives of all 316 million citizens are now in your hands. Alright. Our GDP is alrighty. Our employment is going up. That's bad. Our health is low. Hey, what are you saying about Texans? We are the healthiest people in the United States of America. God damn. Crime is going up. Education is going up. Oh, look at that. Us, us Americans have a superior education. Well-rounded, well-rounded. Our poverty is still a little bit up, but uh, let's begin our term of office. <clears throat> so I, I assume all of you, uh, all of y'all are familiar with uh, the layout of this game, Democracy 3. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we'll get started here. I won't, I won't take time to explain it all. You can just look at, uh, I think there's a, a guy by the name of the Intellectual Gamer... Uh, that went on and uh, did a series on this where he played as some goddamn fascist bastard. I, I don't know, he was crazy. But, uh, gave you a good overview of this. So let's see. Retired or happy, of course, of course. Patriots, look at that patriotism. Look at this man, this man's a real American. He's got a rifle, look at that, what is that, 3 odd 8 or a 38 rifle. He's got a good, good hat, good, good sense of fashion right there. That's what I do. That's what I look like when I'm hunting on the weekends. Alrighty. State employees are happy. Eh. They're alright. But uh, we, we want to cut down spending. Oh, look at that. Oh, God. Damn, we're in debt. We need to take that off of here. Alright. The environment. Pollution. Pollution's back. What? We are fine as we are right now. Alright, let's see. We have an asthma epidemic. We have a uh, obesity problem. Ugh. We have alcohol. Alcohol is a good American value. Drinking alcohol is a good American practice. All right, I'm I'm not gonna do anything. Antisocial behavior. That is that is distasteful though. Internet crime. All right. Well, my first thing in office is going to cut down on this sort of crime. Let's see what is this? Intelligence services. Oh God, raise that up. Internet crime goes down. Patriots are happy. Crime goes down. Liberals, I don't care about liberals. Let's get that intelligence service up. Armed police. Arm the police. Every officer needs to be armed. What, what's this? Police force? Put that up. Put that up. There you go. Alrighty. Now let's see. 
We're gonna need to cut some spending then if we want to replace that. All right, let's look at our expenditure: pensions, state schools, health service, space program, road building, rail subsidies. All right, we we don't need rail subsidies. We can cut those out. All right, let's uh, go to the next quarter. All right. Mm. Look, look at me. There, there's me up there. That's me. Speaking with my, my hands all out and my hair all nice. Look at that. I'm child of labor law. Too many younger citizens are leaving school early. Some are even skipping school to work full time when they should be learning. That. I. Mm. All right, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll pass that law because I'm a, you know, I compromise the people. I compromise. You know, even if the liberals are, are crazy hippies, I it's all right. I'll compromise. I'll compromise. But you know what? I won't compromise on immigration. I will not compromise on that. How is our immigration? Oh, we didn't cut that down. Jeez. What is this? Foreign aid? We don't need foreign aid. Jeez. Cut that out. Cancel. We're wasting $17 billion on that. Jeez. Rail subsidies. Alright, let's cut that down. Boom. Get that out of here so we can save some more money on the government. Taxes we're going to leave right now because we, we're, we're going to need it to get the, these issues out of here. Once they're gone, taxes are going to go way down. Corporation taxes are going to go way down. Alright. All right, let's see what else we can do to fight these crimes. Let's see if we can get a new law. Community policing. I love that. I love that. Oh, and it cuts out both of these. Crime goes down. Tension goes down. Violent crime goes down. Let's put that to full. All right, there you go. Oh, it only costs one of these uh, power projection points or whatever they're called. What, what are they called? Jesus, political capital. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. School sports. Oh, you see, I played football and baseball in high school and college. I was a good athlete. This will raise our health up, get our obesity down, and it only costs $2.5 billion a year. That's it. That's better than Michelle Obama always did. Because she went and worked with those damn large corporations and just ruined America. See, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We're going to make every American healthy and happy. All right. Let's see what else we can do. Healthy eating campaign. Keep the country tied to youth politics, social justice, free parenting classes. See, I'm the parent. Not going to do that because parents need to be happy. Parents are very upset right now. and We need more parents in America. It's the Zazma epidemic. We need to cut down on this. All right. It's the environment. The environment's pretty good. It's coming down to car usage. Alright, let's go to the next quarter. <clears throat> ah, let me just get a sip of my whiskey right here. Delicious. Ah, delicious whiskey. Debt protection. I like those agencies operate. It's their damn choice. Jesus. Education's going up, crime's going down. That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. Right? We're still in, in debt by about uh, 45 million. Or 45 billion. My bad. My bad. 45 billion. Uh, but uh, what we're going to do is uh, establish some things. Pollution controls. Yeah, we need to leave that. We're not some hippies. Jesus Christ. Oh, I know what we need to do. We need to bring religion back into the schools. Look at this good young lady. That is a wonderful example of a true American right there. All right, let's 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 put some religion in here. Oh, national anthems in schools. Oh, my lord. Public religious broadcasts. Oh, lordy. I, mm. All right, let's put these in. National anthems in schools. We need that right now. We need that right now. Youth club subsidies. Crime goes down. Everybody's happy. I don't, let's do that too. 
Let's go to the next turn. Ah, alrighty. Stress epidemic. Oh, let me hear that noise. Ah. Alright, I'm sorry, I get distracted by little things. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Alright. Let's see. Conservatives are very... Look at that, 70% of the population is conservative. They are real Americans. Look at this, true American patriot. I love that, I love that. Alright, let's see here. Let's see. Uh, what else can we do? Oh yeah, we need to get some religion. Public religious broadcasts. Everybody needs religion, alright? Everybody needs religion. Let's see, what else can we do? Public libraries. Keep the... Keep the country tidy. Alright, we need to do our part, so let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, let's see what else. Law and order. National Armed Forces Week. Oh, we need that. Patriots are important. They are true Americans. Fuel efficiency standards. Uh, let's do this. Um, I'm sorry, but we're going to need to cut down on CO2 emissions if we want to get rid of our asthma epidemic. Because that, that directly leaves the environment. Alright. Let's see here. What else can we do? Let's see, is Oh, look at that antisocial behavior. God damn, look at that go down. And that'll save us $1 billion every year. Wonderful, wonderful. Internet crimes going down. I don't care about those damn trolls on the internet. We want to get rid of those people. Obesity? Is obesity going? To oh, no, it's not. Oh, lordy. Alright. Uh, let's see. Alright, next turn. We can't do anything else. Let me get another swig of whiskey. Ah, that's some goddamn good whiskey. Antisocial behavior is at an end. People are realizing... Look at that. Look at this flag. I am... <clears throat> that flag, man. I, I'm saying right now. That is a real American flag. Ban tobacco adverts. I don't... Let people smoke. I don't care. I don't care. Look, these religious people are very happy. I love that. I love that. Conservatives are almost completely supportive. I love it. I love it. Patriots are almost completely supportive. I like it. I like it. My popularity skyrocketing. I love it. I mean, I people just need to sit back and listen to this nice voice I have. Ted Cruz. Oh, gets me every time. Gets me every time. Alright, well, everything's looking up and up. Patriots are almost fanatically supportive. Conservatives are almost fanatically supportive. Uh, retired are fanatically supportive. So, uh, right now, I'm going to leave everybody here. And I'm going to see you all in the future. Remember, vote for me, Ted Cruz, for President of these United States of America. For religion, for freedom, for equality, for rights. Thank you, and may God bless America. Have a wonderful day.